So that's a brief overview of how pool pumps work in a pool's hydraulic system and what you need to know to help your customers achieve maximum efficiency. By now, it should be clear that to achieve maximum efficiency, you need to select the right pump and set it up correctly. Too often, pumps are oversized for everyday filtration, causing unnecessary energy use. So, how should you select a pump and set it up? Pool pumps are generally available in low, medium, and high head models. The low head pump is commonly referred to as a waterfall or fountain pump since it is normally specified for static head applications where water is lifted. Medium head pumps are commonly used for filtration where they serve hydraulic systems with inline filters, heaters, chlorinators, etc. High head or booster pumps are normally used to serve pool sweeps that need dedicated high pressure. We're focusing on filtration pumps in this video, but even medium head filtration pumps have differences in design that make them more or less efficient in pools with hydraulic systems with low, medium, and high resistance to the flow of water. To get the most efficient pump for your application, select one that has high energy factor on CEC curve A, B, or C, depending on whether your pool's hydraulic system has average, high, or low resistance to the flow of water. Also, you will want to select a pump with a total horsepower rating, which is equal to nameplate horsepower times the service factor, that is the smallest available that meets or exceeds the desired flow rate. Remember, variable speed pumps, when operated at reduced speed, can be any size smaller than the maximum total horsepower rating. And finally, get the right tools for the job. Install a flow meter to get an accurate reading of flow rate. Get a true RMS power meter to get an accurate reading of power demand. And use a tape measure to determine pool volume. Otherwise, you're just guessing at the expense of the pool owner, who's the one paying the power bill. Be sure to watch the remaining videos in this series. You'll gain even more valuable insights and knowledge that you can translate into customer satisfaction and loyalty. Thank you for your participation.